During the Mona Lisa 2 project, Carmenta has used the C-SWIM concept to set up a number of geographical web services from different project partners. To demonstrate and prove the concept of C-SWIM, Carmenta has developed a web client to consume and visualize web services. To further prove the C-SWIM concept, Carmenta has created several analysis services, each that in itself is exposed as a service and can be used by any application. What we see here is the main display of the client application that Carmenta has developed. In this application, we have included some of the available services in the project. Let's look at some of the services. We start by adding a background map. In this case, it is a land-based map, but this could just as easily be an ENC chart from, for example, the Swedish Maritime Administration or Jeppesen. Then we can add maritime spatial planning areas provided by World Maritime University. Another layer we can have a look at is the depth data for the Baltic Sea from the Swedish Maritime Administration. Finally, we add a route layer displaying routes from Transas in the standard Mona Lisa RTX format. Let's now look into some new SeaSwim services that we have developed while making use of the services we have just seen. In this example, we calculate safety depths for a Mona Lisa RTX route. We start by adding a background map. On top of this, we present a Mona Lisa route. Next, we have a layer displaying the result from a newly created web service that performs safety calculations based on data from both route and depth web services. To complement this, we add a vertical profile of the same route using another service. The result is a visualization of the shallow areas surrounding the route in a combined plan and profile view. Now let's see how this looks in the application. In the Tools menu, we can enable the Depth tool, which calculates safety depth. We start by selecting one of the routes returned by the route service, and we'll see the route displayed on top of the background map. If we zoom in, we will see the green and red dotted lines surrounding the route showing the cross-track distance. We then enable Show Vertical Clearance to turn on the visualization of the shallow areas as calculated by the Carmenta web service described earlier. As a complement, we also show a vertical profile view along the route. Let's select a leg and see things more clearly. Here, the safety depth is indicated by a red line. Any depth within the cross-track distance less than the safety depth will be shown in red. Next, we can have a look at the conflict tool. In this tool, we also select one route from the route service that we want to analyze. A Carmenta C-SWIM web service is then called on to calculate any conflicts with other routes or MSP areas. This service obtains the required data from web services providing routes and MSPs. More information about a conflict can be displayed by clicking on the conflict indication between two routes or between a route and an area. Finally, a traffic situation web service is utilized to get a playback of the positions of ships according to their schedules. Here, we can see how the ships enter the conflict area. The final tool we want to show is a tool for displaying forecasted weather along a route. First, a route is selected. Then the desired forecast type is selected. In this case, we select wind and precipitation. Then we can press play to play back the weather situation along the planned route and schedule. All the analysis services we have seen in this presentation are available to all SeaSwim users.